Hey guys, how's it going? Jocelyn here. And today I want to show you guys my custom tactics and instructions for the 532. Um, I think it's a it's a very good formation that I've been running for the past week and it's helped me a lot um to defend and attack. So I just want to share it with you guys. Um it's a really popular formation, man. A lot of people are using it and a lot of people have different tactics. And personally I think mine are the ones that help me out the most. So I just want to share them with you guys. And obviously, like, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment, toss a thumbs up, you know, like the video. And subscribe, we're almost at 10k subscribers. So, yeah, man. Um, sorry for not uploading much on YouTube, but I've been very active on Twitch. But, um, if you guys, obviously, like, if you guys really want me to upload more on YouTube, like, make sure to leave a comment, like the video. And, uh, yeah, boys, let's get started, man. So, I'm gonna give you some tips as well for the 532 because honestly, like whenever I first started using the 532, I didn't like it because it's a it's a very complex formation, right? So it's it's not it's not your usual 442, 41212, where you just like play the ball through the middle and just try to score quickly, you know? It's it's not an easy formation, but I feel like I didn't I haven't mastered it yet, but I'm almost there. And um so let, let's get right into it, boys. So, first of all, you want to have two strikers that, you know, they're good, that can run, you know, can do skills. That's, that's the easy part, right? You want to have two strikers, right? And then, um, so this is where it comes, where, where it gets a little complicated. I see a lot of people running Neymar at center mid. And I, personally, I think that's a big red flag because Neymar is not really good at defending. So whenever you're defending, you're going to be defending with 10 people instead of 11. As you guys can see, I have Renato Sanchez, I have Bruno Fernandes, and uh, I have um, Bobby Firmino as well. And uh, this is how I play in game, by the way. I know I know, I know, know the chemistry and all that is messed up, but this is how I, I just want to show you guys how I play in game. Uh, I use Renato on the left, uh, Bruno Fernandes in the middle, and then Bru uh, Bobby Firmino on the right, right center mid. So I, I think it's really important to use center mids that can both defend and attack. Um, you know, it's like one of the most important things that like in this formation, that if you use like, like a striker here, say like Neymar, which I've seen a lot of people use, or Rashford, you know, they're not going to be really good at, at defending, man. So you're going to be defending with one less player. So I really suggest that you try to get three center mids they don't, have, they don't even have to be good at attacking. Like, I'll, I'll show you why right now. But uh, get at least two center mids that can play, like, CDMs kind of, you know? like. But you get what I'm saying? Like, two CDM center mids kind of type, and then one that can attack. So that's what you want to go for here. And then the foul at the back is pretty clear. Uh, you want to use three people that are center backs, obviously, or, like, that can play center back. And then the wingers, you want you want to try to use people like players that are fast and quick and pacey, and uh, are agile. So I got Tio Hernandez and, and Quadrado, which are perfect for that. And uh, yeah, man, like they're they're all. I think they're really good players. So yeah, you wanna you wanna make sure that you have the correct players. You know, three center backs or people that can play center backs. The wingers, you know, we got a right foot Quadrado, we got a left foot, you know, Tio Hernandez, which we're gonna use to make crosses. I see a lot of people using Rashford. Or someone like that, and I used to use Rashford, but he's not good, man. I didn't like him, cause you play him on the left side, so you want you want people that are left footed, you know. So I think T. Hernandez fits perfectly right here, and uh, Quadrado. So you want three center mids and two strikers, and uh, yeah. So the three center backs and the right wing back and the left wing back, and uh, make sure you guys uh, like the minute sixty. Uh, minute 65 make sure you guys sub out your wing backs because they do get pretty tired with this formation because you want them to join the attack right so make sure you guys sub them out minute 60 to 65 somewhere around there uh they're gonna start to get pretty tired so make sure you guys have subs ready in my case i sub in a tall for tio hernandez and uh cancelo for quadrado which are really good subs and uh yeah i don't want to waste your time let me show you guys the tactics uh, so the 5-3-2, uh, I use balance, 3-width, 5-depth. You're probably asking yourself, like, why the 3-depth? And um, the reason I use the 3-depth is because you have 5 players in the back, right? Whenever you have 4 players in the back, it's only 4. And uh, 
whenever I use four players in the back, I use five. But in this case, is we have five defenders all the time back there. We don't need the we don't need the five depth because like the wing backs are gonna be like super close to the line where you're defending, and you don't want that. You want them to be like close to each other so it can they can help you defend a little bit better. So go with go with three. I think like this is the best one. I tried four, but this they're still pretty far away. So three should be good because you're playing with five defenders. And then on the offensive side, I use six and five and two and two. The reason I use six is because the three center mids can get a little bit locked up, like bunched up sometimes. So um, I like to spread the play a little bit more. And uh, that's the reason I use six. It's a little bit cleaner. And then five players in the box. And then for the instructions, I use come back on defense with the strikers. And uh, for the left center mid, I use stay back while attacking and stay in the edge of the box across and cover center as the uh, same as for this one. Because these guys are the ones that I want to stay back when I'm attacking, okay? Like these guys are going to be the build-up players. So, you know, these guys are going to be making the passes to the strikers and to the other center mid. So these guys are always staying back and like just holding the play. You know, if I need to recycle a play, I look for an out or Bobby Firmino. And um, the guy in the middle is the guy that's going to be making those runs. So that's why he's on balance attack and cover center. Uh, Bruno is incredible. Like, he's really good at making those runs forward. So that's why I chose him. And you're probably wondering, like, why through the middle? And that's because when I was testing, um, when I was playing against 4-4-2, right? And 4-4-2 is, like, another insane formation that people like to use. Um... You know, this center mid used to be hidden. So, like, you know how they have two strikers? He would get behind the striker. Um, and he wouldn't be able to play the ball because, like, he would always have two strikers on him. So, that's one of the reasons that I put him on balance. So, now he's the one to... The, he, like, like he, now, he's not the, the one hidden, you know? He's not hiding himself from the, from the ball. And now he's making those runs forward. So, and honestly, like, it's worked out pretty well. So yeah, this guy is the one that, that's going to be attacking as well. So make sure you want to look for that center mid always. And then the right wing back on join the attack and left wing back on join the attack. As I said, make sure you guys sub him out minute 65, minute 65 max. Because they do get pretty tired. And then I just want to give you guys a quick tip. Um, with your center backs. Make sure you guys play switch a lot because I don't want you guys to use Joe Gomez and he's playing left center back, right? And drag him out all the way to the right with Kyle Walker. Because like then, that's when you don't know how to defend. Like that, whenever that happens, is that you don't know how to defend, but like your players are going to be like positioned like super weird. So you're going to give, you're going to give out like a lot of spaces, right? So make sure when, whenever like, Whenever they're, um, if the ball is with Joe Gomez, switch to Joe Gomez. If the ball is in the middle, switch to Vieira. And then if the ball is with Kyle Walker, make sure you guys switch all the way to Kyle Walker. Don't be like, okay, so like say they pass it from like one side from Kyle Walker to Joe Gomez. Do not chase him with Kyle Walker all the way to the left. Because then you have, then you start to like leave gaps in the middle. And that, you don't want that because like, you know, then their players make runs and stuff. So make sure you guys play switch at the back. Do not get the mixed up. That's like the number one rule when playing with five defenders. Like, don't drag out your center backs, you know? Uh, if you're going to do that, just make sure you're really careful. And, um, yeah, boys. So let me know if you guys have any any comments, you know, any questions. So it's 3-5, balance, balance, and balance 6-5.